What better way to save time than to download models instead of creating them yourself? That's what 3D Content Central was made to do. You probably already know that 3D Content Central has tons of off-the-shelf parts and assemblies from vendors, as well as user-submitted components. Most of the models come with several configurations already set up, and even have full-feature manager trees. If you haven't done so already, you can learn a lot about SOLIDWORKS simply by downloading other users' models and rolling through the tree to see how they created it in SOLIDWORKS. There's all sorts of models ranging from brackets, motors, gears and valves, to some pretty fun models that you might be interested in checking out, like toys, sports equipment, jewelry, aircraft, cars and models of other vehicles. You'll also find things like sketch blocks and design library features, but one of the things that can really save you time in SOLIDWORKS are macros. A macro is a programmable script that you can run in SOLIDWORKS to automate all sorts of tasks. There are macros on the site that can do things such as deleting redundant features on a part, save an entire directory as PDFs, or export flat pattern views automatically. There are literally hundreds of macros that have been created on the site for a variety of tasks, and anyone can download and run any of the macros on 3D Content Central for free. If you've never used a macro before, I'll show you how. Here's a great macro that deletes all the redundant features in the part. I went ahead and already downloaded it to my desktop. Something like this could be pretty handy if you have a feature tree with a bunch of unused sketches, features, or reference planes, and want to clean them up. I'll switch over to SOLIDWORKS where I have a part already open that I've been working on. To run the macro, I'll go to Tools, Macro, and press Run. I'll browse for the macro that I downloaded and click Open. The macro runs and presents a nice simple dialog box asking me which of these unused features I'd like to delete. I'll select them all to clean up my Feature Manager tree and click Delete. It's that easy. This would have taken me quite a bit more time to find and delete all of these features myself. So take a look around 3D Content Central. You might be surprised at what you can find there. Thank you. This has been a SOLIDWORKS Time Saver.